Hi and welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to give a tan to someone uh, that you have in one of your photos that's kind of uh, paler. So what you're going to want to do first is get an image. So I have this image here and uh, this girl's uh, pretty white. So uh, just have that layer um, as your first layer and then create a second one by clicking down here on new layer. So just click and make a new one. And uh, this technique is pretty similar to the one uh, in my tutorial where we changed hair and uh, car and clothes color. Um, except that we're actually going to uh, make two layers and we're going to kind of blend them. Uh, so just follow along here. First we're going to um, go to our brush tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a color that's kind of like a kind of a lighter orange. Actually, let's do darker first. So we're just going to kind of pick something down here. And we're just going to click OK. So it's 714B34 is the hex code on that. So just click OK. And then what we're going to do is uh, just kind of paint over her skin with this. So I'm just going to kind of do a quick job here. But you can take a lot more time and do a nicer job on that. So just try and uh, leave out things like the background, don't don't get that, or uh, like her bathing suit here. Try and skip things like that. You can touch them up later with the eraser tool, but it's always better to be more precise the first time. So, just finish up on that. And get her arm and face. And... There we go. That's that's pretty good. So, so touch this up a little. All right. Now what you're going to want to do is go to soft light next over here, and just drag it down to soft light. And now you can see she's uh, somewhat darker, but that's not quite the effect we were looking for. Um, you can actually take your eraser tool and uh, come around if you kind of got sloppy with the uh, with your tan there, and uh, kind of cut that off so that it, it looks nice and crisp. Um, but what we're going to do now is add another layer. So just click new layer again and that one's going to go above the dark brown. And we're going to kind of give her a lighter color. So this time come and uh, pick some kind of lighter, kind of more of like an orangish color, but we don't want, to be, want it to be too orange because then that's just going to look like crap. So just click OK when you have kind of like a... Actually I'm just going to pick something a little, a little more orange. So. So I'm using DA946B. Let's click OK. And then we're just going to paint over. Actually, what we're going to do is we're just going to... There's an easier way to do this. If we delete this layer we just made. And we copy this one by dragging it down to new layer. And then we still have this color selected over here. So I'm going to go to FX. And then it's off the screen, but color overlay. And that's pretty hideous there so just uh, drag the blend mode down to soft light and then click this color and then click the color you already selected and that will apply it right there <clears throat> so just click OK um, so now we can see that uh, she's looking pretty tan uh, but she's also looking kind of orange so what we're gonna need to do is take and blend these layers um, so just go up to your opacity and then just drag this down on the on the uh, orange or the lighter orange uh, layer and just drag that down I'm gonna put it at 60 that looks about right for good tan color um, and also uh, something you might want to do is uh, grab your eraser tool and then <clears throat> put the opacity at something like uh, 50 percent and then just go over uh, her face or the subjects face because normally people's faces are a little bit less tan than uh, the rest of their body uh, so to just kind of make it look a little more natural, uh, just, you can do that. So basically this is the uh, the tan effect here. You can see uh, beginning where she was pretty pale and then you add on the uh, lighter brown layer and then you put on the, um, or you put on the darker brown layer and then you put on the light, light brown layer. And this is our, um, our effect. So um, Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week.